how to in a few. Uh, today we're gonna cut some small trees, so it's less of a how to and more of a hey look what I bought kind of video. Um, this is a Bauer electric chainsaw. Now recently I've been put into a situation where I don't have access to my usual tools and uh, so they were in need of some method to cut some trees and trim some limbs and while I had been looking into getting uh, an electric set of tools myself I didn't want to spend uh, you know some of the some of those things are really pricey so I was looking for a more economical brand to go with uh, to at least try and so far I've been very impressed with Bauer. Now Bauer, uh, if you're familiar with it, they're sold through Harbor Freight but they're actually owned by Snap-on which is a, a commercial grade tool company. Now I would not say this is anywhere near uh, commercial or contractor grade but um, so far I've been very impressed with uh, what some of the other tools are. So I have a couple of batteries and this is a chainsaw pretty well designed it uses uh, when you get it out the box the blade and uh, chain come apart and you have to install it and it's actually unlike other chainsaws it just uses a twist on and and it's a real ingenious design because as you tighten this the chain gets tighter so uh, as you tighten as you go you simply have to stop the blade uh, adjust the tightness and then continue cutting whereas with a regular chainsaw you would have to use a special wrench, make an adjustment, and then tighten it again uh, for the new setting. So, there we go. Um, we have a 20 volt, three amp hour battery. And it also, we have some chain oil that we're gonna fill up right now. So while the chain oil doesn't say what weight it is, it looks very much like standard 30 weight oil. That's probably what it is. All right, I'm assuming it's oiling. I do feel some oil on the chain, so we're probably good to go. Okay, so this is by no means, you know, heavy tree limb work, but we're gonna clear some of this uh, remaining underbrush. We did some pruning previously, but there's still some low, thicker branches here that we wanna eliminate. And we have some actual trees that are growing in between, which are, if they're not really a problem yet, but they will quickly become a problem. So we're gonna go ahead and, and remove those out of here and open up the area a little bit so that uh, the grass grows and during grass cutting, it's a little bit easier to uh, run in and out of here. So the birds are not too happy, also that's a crow and uh, unaffected by this. Pretty loud. Um, Alright, so the first cut, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. That cut through there, I mean it was effortless. So now we'll 
take a look at cutting it a little bit lower and then moving on. One of the things I just noticed was the chain did get a little bit loose, so I'm adjusting that by tightening it. Probably need to monitor that a little more often. With you. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. <clears throat> now, again, the chain has a tendency to get to lose tension, but you can simply retension it by giving it a little twist. And you need to keep an eye on that because apparently it does start to uh, back up and then loosen itself. Now, one warning you need to respect this as a real chainsaw, as you can see what it does with the wood. It will equally well go through your flesh. Also, you should wear some eye protection. And while it does not have, the, it has a, a guard right here, it does not have the chain break that you would typically find on a regular chainsaw. So realize that while it's spinning, uh, you're, you're in danger. So you have to play close, pay close attention, uh, even when the bugs are on you. Okay, well, hope you found that uh, useful. I definitely, I uh, could recommend as, as kind of a budget way. I think this was on sale uh, with a coupon. I paid somewhere around between $60 and $70 for it. Uh, now the battery I did already have, so I mean that is the um, 
you know, the plus side to going with a uh, kind of cordless battery system. Um, I feel like for the budget-minded uh, Bauer tools, I have the weed eater now that uh, gets used here and this. Um, so uh, it, uh, it's budget-friendly and you should get some use out of it. Hopefully that helped you. If so, give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button. Um, you know, those two things go a long way to help YouTubers like me keep making videos for people like you. Thanks for watching.